up guys and welcome to the channel FWA4. In this video, we are going to be talking about this little gem. So this is the Creality K1 Speedy. So I wanted to go ahead and grab something that was going to be really fast and something that will produce really good quality prints. And this thing has not let me down. I was going to do an unboxing video where I took it out of the box, but it was literally, it came in a box from Creality and it came really, really fast. And it had all of this packaging. So all of this packaging was protecting it and it was very, very well protected. Let's just put that down there for a minute. Right, so that was all of the packaging. I still have some of the packaging still on it here, at the sides. It's literally, it comes as it is. The only thing you have to assemble is the, the backing piece, which is gonna be where the spool holder is. I'll just show you here. So this comes separately, and this is the spool I've got on at the moment. And it just twists into the back. I will show you that in a moment when we turn it around so you can see. And the other thing you need to install is the handle. So you just put the handle on, which is here. Let's just quickly fire it up so you can see. I love that it comes with a light, which is really, really cool. The top does come off here, but it is quite difficult to get it off. But I suppose you want it to be solid and you want it to be on there well. There you go. So the top does come off. You will need to take the top off for maintenance to be able to feed the filament through the cable as well, which is what I needed to have to do. I did struggle with getting the filament to go in at the start, but it is a new device and all I had to do was feed it through and I had to just unlock the top, take out the pipe and the little blue clip and then it allowed me to put that in. But I will do an up close so you can see what I'm talking about when I say that. This model was supposed to be £579, but it was on a Christmas special, which I got it on, and that was £479. I didn't know, but it came with a free kit. So I got a free K1 booster kit, and I think they're still doing this right now. I think the, I think the offer is even better, because I think you get this kit, and I think that includes some nozzles from them as well. So you will get no nozzles, which is really cool. So this is the K1 kit. So not only did I get this for 479, which is a bargain, with a build plate of 220 by 220 by 250 millimeters, you get so much in here. So they give you uh, the 3 d printer filament, which is just the white stuff that it comes with. So you do get a free spool here. So you get a free spool there. And that is just a little small one that I've already used some of it up, but you get that for free, that comes with it. And then as you know, if you do get the, the kit as well, so the special gift, then you will get this here and you get a full filament kit. So you will get that as well. I'm just gonna take this one out, just show you what's in here. But here you go. So you get a whole one of these. This is just on the offer now. I don't know if you're watching this video and the offer has stopped, but to get all this stuff for free as well, it was just an absolute bargain and it definitely is a seller. So you get the whole reel there. So there you go. So that whole reel is completely free with this printer. And it comes with the little silicon stuff in there to keep it nice and fresh so there's no moisture. I do have a dryer coming for my filament as well, which we'll do a video on at a later date. And we will be doing a video on the free stuff that comes with this K1 Speedy 2. So in the box you get, it shows you here anyway, so you get a nozzle and you get a camera and you get something else as well. So the camera is really cool. So you can download the app and then you can watch your 3D prints. Uh, while you're there. The thing that sold this to me as well guys, this has a self leveling bed. So when the device is kitted up and it's all ready to go, the door, although be careful not to open it all the way because it only goes to about there and it won't go any further than that. But the bed is self leveling. So it has sensors on it and then it will home in on the bed and it will level the bed itself. So you, you don't have to go around and twist the knobs like you used to be able to on the bottom on all four corners to try and get it level and put a piece of paper underneath. 
this kit will do that for you. You will not have to do that. That will do it for you. And I have had no issues with it so far. Right, so in the box with the free goodies, you will get the camera. So there you go. So there's a little camera. I will do an up close look on these as well. And they will have a guide on how to install those. And then you get, okay, so this looks like you get a spare filament feeder which will go on the back of that. So this is basically a spare filament feeder. This is what I was talking to you about, saying about feeding the filament through. Sometimes these cogs can wear out, and then when the filament goes in, the number one problem for uh, 3D prints messing up is having the filament clogged. So the filament gets stuck, or it gets cold, and it clogs up in here, or the gears wear down, and the filament doesn't feed through anymore, or your nozzle will get blocked when the temperature isn't right or something goes wrong. So this is really cool that you get a spare one of these because obviously you would have to go buy one and I don't suspect they're very cheap. And you also get the free nozzle as well. So they sent you not only a filament feeder, they sent you a free nozzle. So if your nozzle goes wrong, you know, I'm not talking about the just a nozzle, this is actually the hot end. So you get the whole hot end of that to be able to install and you get the camera as well. Because I was thinking of buying the camera with it uh, at a later date, didn't realize that all of that was gonna come free in this kit that I managed to pick up. So that was absolutely incredible that I managed to get that. Right guys, so I'm just gonna carry on peeling the rest of this off real quick. Because I've never done this uh, yet. I've had it printing and everything, and I was just like, I'll just do that later. So the first thing it asks you to do when you get it out of the box, it asks you to undo the packaging screws. So there's three yellow arrows in here and that is holding the bed together. So you need to make sure you remove those and they are holding the base in place for just probably for shipping. The same as if you had a uh, washing machine and you had the four bolts in the back of the washing machine uh, you know you put them in there because you're holding the drum in place so it doesn't damage the drum it's exactly the same that goes for this you are literally just got it on there so that you can hold that bed in place so it doesn't move around and it doesn't break while it's in transport but you need to make sure you remove the yellow arrows and I'll show you them up close in a moment which we'll be able to see from the top as I said, this does light up, which is really cool. You do have the options on the keypad to turn the light off, so you don't have to have the light on all the time. You can actually turn the light off. I will turn this around in a moment so we can look at the back of the device, and then we can check out what it looks like from the back where the filament will feed through and make the 3D print. But before we do that, I wanna show you the first ever 3D print I got it to do. So obviously I got it to do a Benchy. It made this this benchy in 12 minutes flat. It didn't mess up, it stuck to the bed, but I'll tell you what we had to do first. Let me just quickly open the door, which is already there. This bed also, another really cool feature about this is that you have the magnetic base. So you can take these off, you can flex your prints, and you can remove them really, really easily, which I think is incredible. Right, so let's just quickly put this back on. So let's see if I can do it this way around. So there are two screws at the back that you can use to line up the magnetic base. And as you can see, it just clips down just like that, which is really, really cool. And the pad here is all touch screen. So you, is, you can just touch and do whatever you need to do. I will do another, a nice up close look at that so you can get a look at that as well. The only other thing you have to install, let's close this door because I don't want it to fly open. I think you can get a mod where you can open the door all the way. The thing it asks you to install are these feet. So these four rubber feet come with it. I recommend if you are doing it, make sure your door doesn't open and smash. And then when you have it, basically, because this thing is so fast, it's so quick that it, it vibrates quite a bit uh, and it moves quite, quite a lot. But that was the first thing I got the Benji to do. And as I said, it did stick to the bed. I know a lot of people have to spray stuff on, but it does tell you on the print bed itself that you should apply glue before doing your first print. So make sure you check that out, read the instructions, how to set it up, and don't miss any of the steps before you attempt to print anything on your 3D printer. As I said, 
with the Benchy, the Benchy came out perfect. Mm -hmm. I did get a little bit of hairspray and spray it over the, um, the bed itself so that it was on the magnetic bed. And I didn't use a lot, but I think it would have stuck even if I didn't have to use a little bit of hairspray. Right, so I, well, I thought I've got some filament left over. I want to use the black filament because using the black filament is what I want to have for when I am doing my 3D prints. Because what I do is I make brackets. So I have a little business where I make brackets and I'll show you an up close of this as well. But these came out absolutely incredible. So these look like shop bought brackets. So I make these and I was thinking, I used to make them out of really hard wear and resin but people were saying that eventually over time they were beginning to break and stuff like that. So I made these out of plastic instead uh, because they are gonna be so much better. And I used to do them before, but the 3D printer that I had before never printed in the quality or the speed that this one does. I'm gonna pop them down there for the minute. I wanted to use up some of the uh, Creality filament in there and I just loaded up one on their slicer. Their slicer is a very, very easy to use, really easy to download. And install and I will show you uh, how to use that in another video if you want me to do that for you that won't be a problem uh, you don't have to do much you just have to select your model and then you just have to make sure it fits add your supports all the time add your supports and then there you are ready to go this one I didn't even have to add supports because it printed so fast so I decided to print a Mario mushroom cup I've seen everyone printing them and I cannot I cannot stress at the quality that this has come out in so I haven't built it all up yet, but I've got all the pieces that we need. And as you can see, this thing is just absolutely incredible. And it even screws on. So there's a little mushroom head. It comes with four of the pieces that sit on top as well. Um, so we probably will be painting this up at a later date, but it won't take much maintenance to glue this into place. And it won't take much maintenance to probably paint this because of the detail that it's come out in. I really want to show you this up close, but I will in a bit. And then it also printed the little eyes. As I said, this was absolutely no support whatsoever. All I did was I took the head and I printed it this way up. So as you can see, it was that way up. It made the bottom and it built all this section up with no issues whatsoever. With the cup, I just put it face down like this way so that the bottom is here. And then it built the cup all the way up, no issues. And then these ones, even though there was no supports in here, you would think that the filament would fade, but because the speed of this is so fast, um, I mean, you have got dual cooling on this as well. As I said, it's got auto leveling and it's got a 32 millimeter, three and a half second flow um, in full blast. So when this is actually printing at its max speed, this is why you don't get any issues with this when printing so it's just absolutely incredible and there's no sagging whatsoever and then as i said it did the little eyes as well and i will show you those up close you get instructions all the necessary stuff to show you uh, how to clean it you get the cleaning rod for the nozzle there is instructions in here how to fit the uh, handle to the front of the glass which is really easy to do this piece comes separate as well so you will have to plug this in and slide this down into a slider very easy to install doesn't take long at all and then you get the allen keys and all the bits and pieces that you need and as i said there should be in here the uh, four screws somewhere yeah there's four screws in here that come on the base that you will need to remove with one of the allen keys so don't forget to do that before even firing up your printer remember to read the instructions and take those out because it's very very important i will have something flashing up to show you how to do all these steps so that you are aware of how they're done right so you get in the kit as well you're really really cool because the reality i've been really generous about all of this stuff so you get a scraper to get the prints off you have a magnetic flexi base so this isn't really required that much you have metal grease in there. Just try and get it out real quick. So you have metal grease in there to grease up the rods that go up and down. So you need to make sure you do your maintenance. You have a spanner in here, 10 mil and 12 mil, which is used to undo the nozzle or to take the hot end off, which you can use there. Comes with everything you need. You also get a glue stick, so you can put that down. And you get a mag magnet strip, I think that might be. I'm not too sure what that is for but we will find out in another video. 
So I'm just going to pop all these bits back real quick. They do generously give you, because I've always needed to get these myself, they give you the snips to take off the actual supports as well. So you get these included in the kit. So if this isn't selling it to you guys, I don't know what. This video isn't even sponsored by Creality. I'm not sponsored at all. Um, I did reach out to them about doing a video on this. You can get the uh, the K1 Max as well. So you can get the one with a bigger bed. So you'll get um, a lot bigger than what this one is. Probably a little bit bigger. I don't think it's double the size, but it is a lot bigger. It looks cool. Uh, if you're doing really, really big prints, that's going to be good. I'm going to test this to its limits, and I'm going to be doing a really, really big print on it soon. So I will do another video on letting you know how it performs and whether it can cope with it. But I've had this on safely uh, for five hour prints here and there, doing those brackets, and it hasn't let me down. And the detail, the level of detail, is absolutely incredible. So it comes with that as well. Not too sure why it comes with stickers. So you do get these stickers. Don't know why you get those, but they do come with it. As I said, with this, as you can see, the yellow arrows are just here. So these are the ones that are going to have the screws on them. I left them here so you can see. There's also another one down there. And then there is one on the right here too. This is where you will load up your filament, as you can see here. And you will just click this over. So this is to unlock, to not hold the filament in place. And as I said, I did have trouble loading this up. But if you just remove, excuse the uh, hands in the way. If you just remove that little clip like that, you can pull this tube out. So once that is unlocked, there you can pull the tube out on the top as you can see there and then the tube will come loose so if you are having trouble with the filament going into there I just managed to unlock that and push it down uh, if you are having a blockage then you will need to use your stick to be able to clear that up but once you're finished and it's all out of place you just feed the tube back in I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you this and then you just click that and that holds the tube securely like so you do have this nice chain here which is holding the filament in place and it takes you to the back so we're just going to scoot around the back and show you around, see around here this is where it trails round and it goes into the feeder so this feeds the tube and then this spins by it being pulled up through there so this is really cool because this pulls the filament up through and it helps it go into this and remember guys you need to make sure that when you have finished you need to lock that back into place once you're done this is your screen where you can do all of your bits so as you can see here you can just scroll through these are some of the things that i have on here already but this thing is absolutely incredible so i might just start a print up just so you guys can get an idea of what it is like i'm just going to put the print on there it's going to get quite loud but I just want to show you how cool and how quick it is to react. You don't have to have the top on if you don't want to, but I just want to just show you it in action, just so you get an idea of what it's like when it starts to fire up and starts to go. Very clever, really, really fast and very clever thing. So what we'll do, we'll come back to that in a minute. So as you can see, it is just checking everything. So it's heating up to the right temperature but this is just to only do the bed leveling. So as I said, it will level the bed itself, as you can see there. I'm sorry for my reflection, but uh, it is just leveling there. So we'll do it nice and close. It's got sensors on it so it knows and it detects. It will go around and do all of its necessary checks that it needs to do, and then it will start a print. So bear with us one moment and we'll come back when it's ready to print right guys so why it's starting to get ready to make that 3d print i just want to show you the quality of this look at look at the quality of that it's absolutely flawless look at it and that is the bottom if you can't even tell that it was 3d printed it looks like it's come out of a mold it is so absolutely detailed sorry about the fan the fans kicking in as you can see there the fan is kicking in we're going to take a look at these pieces, go through them while the 3D printer is doing its thing.
So guys, these are the brackets that it makes up for me uh, that I sell. So there you go, that is the quality that this machine is producing, absolutely brilliant. So uh, it's got really good on this side as well, look at that. Absolutely superb, really, really nice finish and perfect for what I need them for. You can turn the quality down so it's not as good if you want to, but to me this is absolutely fine for what I need to be able to sell these on. So as I said, really, really incredible, it really is. So. It's now heating up so that it will get to 210 degrees. It's doing that um, and then it's going to keep the bed temperature at 50 degrees. And then it's going to make us probably a black benchy because I think I still got the black filament loaded in. So it's going to do that now. So we'll have a look here. I'm going to open the door so you can see better. So it's doing a quick line there. Look how quick it's making that benching. This thing is rapid, absolutely rapid. I need to clean it up a bit, but sometimes you don't really need to be cleaning these up because they are just incredible. With this as well, as I said, if you do go on here, I can touch the screen here and I can turn the light off if I want to. And then that will just flick the light off so you can print without the light on. You don't need to have the light on all the time. And then I'm gonna lift you up real quick. And then we're gonna have a look on top. And we're gonna have a look at it printing this way around as well. So you can see how fast this thing is printing. It prints absolutely rapidly. And I said, this is only gonna take 12 minutes to do. We'll come back when it's, let's just take a little bit of footage of how fast this thing can go. This is not sped up, this is actual speed. It is so fast. Guys, now the hot end has cooled down. It's a lot quieter now. As you can see, this is our benchy. It's done in, let's have a quick look. So it's just finishing cooling down and everything now. So you can see there, it's quite clever. So that took 16 minutes to do that print. 16 minutes and it made this benchy. So let's go and grab it out and have a look. It's quite solid on there. This has been sitting, the filament has been sitting, should I say, on there for about two or three days out and the house has been pretty cold. So it, there might be some lines there because of that. But I mean, generally, this is a pretty decent print and it's come out really, really nice. So let's just stick that on there like that. Right, so guys, just a couple more things before we go. So this is the USB stick. This is where you will install all your prints. You can do it via the cloud because this is connected to the Wi-Fi as well, which is actually pretty decent. Uh, as you can see here, it says network. Just gonna shut the door. You can see that it's all connected up here. And it's very, very smart, very cool. Right, so guys, uh, when we go to the back real quick, let's just go around. You'll be able to see the on off switch for the devices here. So this is how you turn it off, just there. And everything will shut down momentarily. And then, that is our quick review on the Creality K1 Speedy. Thanks for watching, please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care now, bye bye. Guys, just before we completely go, remember those yellow arrows I was talking to you about, which we have to take off before we even start the device up? These are the screws, not the black ones. Make sure you remember that, thank you.